In this problem, we have what's called an arithmetic sequence, and we're being asked to find the nth term or the general term of the sequence. So there is a formula that we can use to do this problem. The formula tells us that a sub n is equal to the first term, which is a sub 1, plus parentheses n minus 1 times d. So d here is called the common difference. d is what we keep adding over and over again to get to the next term. So for example, to get from 0 to 1 half, we add 1 half. And then notice, if we add 1 half again, we get 1. We add 1 half again, we get 3 halves. Right? You can think of, think of 1 as 2 halves. And think of 2 as 4 halves. And it becomes even more clear that you just keep adding 1 half. So d, which is called the common difference, is equal to 1 half. a sub 1 is the first term. So in this case, the first term is 0. So a sub 1 is equal to 0. OK, so now all we have to do is plug everything into this formula. So a sub n is equal to a sub 1, which is 0, plus n minus 1. So that, that'll just be n minus 1. And then d is 1 half. The last thing to do maybe is distribute the 1 half. So a sub n is equal to, let's see, 1 half times n is 1 half times n. And 1 half times negative 1 is negative 1 half. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.